Hello and welcome to Swagger Hub, a collaborative platform where you can design and manage your API definitions throughout their lifecycle. Swagger Hub has two Amazon API Gateway integrations available, Amazon API Gateway and Amazon API Gateway Lambda Sync. The first one, Amazon API Gateway, also known as a proxy, is for when you have an existing API server and want to add a management layer on top of it. A Lambda Sync is for a new API for which you want to develop a backend using Lambda functions. In this video, you'll learn how to set up the Lambda Sync integration and publish your Swagger Hub definition directly to the gateway using a Lambda function. If you want to publish the definition in the proxy mode, watch our video about the proxy mode integration. The link to it is in the video description. First, we need to create a user in Amazon with the appropriate permissions. In the Amazon AWS console, type IAM in the Find Services search box. Go to Users and add a new user. This user needs programmatic access only. Next, we need to attach a policy to this user to grant the necessary permissions. For this integration, we need the Amazon API Gateway Administrator and AWS Lambda Full Access Policies. And now, we have an access key and a secret key. Make sure to copy both keys and store them somewhere safe. Each Lambda function has an execution rule that gives its permissions to access other AWS services, such as S3, VPC, or DynamoDB. Let's create such a role. Select AWS service as the trusted entity type and select Lambda on the list of services. We'll use AWS Lambda Basic Execution Role, which is the minimum permission required by Lambda functions. And now, let's give the role a name and a short description, and then create it. Here's the created role. Copy the role ARN, as we'll need to specify in the integration settings in Swagger Hub. Now, let's go to Swagger Hub. This is a pet store API definition. While AWS supports most of the open API specification, there are some limitations. Read about them in the AWS documentation and make sure your definition is compatible with Amazon. Otherwise, you'll see integration errors. We're going to create the Amazon API Gateway Lambda Sync integration now. Give the integration a friendly name as you can have multiple integrations in the same API definition. Select the region you want to publish to. Since we're creating a new API in Amazon, we'll leave the API ID blank. If you have an existing API you want to update it from Swagger Hub, you'll need to specify the API ID that you can find in the Amazon console here. For publish mode, let's use overwrite. This will overwrite the existing API definition and API gateway with the definition from Swagger Hub. The base path mode controls how to create API gateway endpoints with or without the base path. Let's use ignore. The deployment mode must be on save. Now, paste your execution rule ARN you've copied previously and select the target runtime for the generated Lambda functions. Let it be Python in our case. Finally, paste your Amazon access key and secret key. That's it. From now on, every time you save your API definition in Swagger Hub, the corresponding API in Amazon will be updated. In the Amazon console, let's go to the API gateway where you can find the API we've just created. If you don't see the API, make sure you are in the same region that you use for the integration. The API resources in the gateway are created based on the API definition in Swagger Hub. Each API operation corresponds to a Lambda function in AWS. Swagger Hub generates function stubs, which you later edit in Amazon to implement the business logic. Note that Swagger Hub does not overwrite any functions once they are created. It uses function names to uniquely identify them. Here is what the default code looks like. The event object provides access to the operation parameters passed in the request. In our example, the get operation has just one parameter, username, which can be accessed this way. And the resulting value is here, in the return statement. Let's modify the function to pass the received username back to the caller. Now let's go back to the API and test the function. Looks good. The gateway handles the request, forwards the data to the backend, and receives the response. Swagger Hub can greatly accelerate your API development process. We hope this video helped you learn how to integrate your API definition with Amazon API Gateway using Lambda functions as the backend. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, check out our documentation, videos, and online community on our support portal.